Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Let's Grow. I hope you are very well and doing great in your life. So today in this video we are going to discuss about the fire demand formulas. So there are a number of formulas which we generally used to calculate the fire demand for a city. So in this video we will see all of those formulas and how we can use these formulas to compute the fire demand. So to resist the fire, the network, here we are discussing about the water distribution network. It should have or it should save a certain amount of water, correct? So whenever a fire event occur in a city, so the sufficient amount of water should be available in a water distribution network with a certain pressure, correct? So to accommodate all these recommendations, the these formulas are derived correct so there are many formulas which we can use to estimate the amount of water which is needed at the time of fire correct so the first formula is given by the national board for fire underwriters formula correct so here you can see the formula q is equal to 4640 under root P bracket 1 minus 0 0.01 into under root, under root P and this is bracket closed correct so this is the formula which is given by national board for fire underwriters formula where Q is the quantity of water which is required in terms of liter per minutes correct and here P is the population of the town or city in thousands correct so keep remember the unit as well the second formula is given by the free months and it is known as the free months formula here you can see the formula and here q is the quantity of water in liter per minutes and p is the population of town in thousands the third one formula is given by kuichling and that is why it is known as kuichling's formula and here q is the quantity of water in liter per minute and p is the population in thousand the last one formula is given by the buston that is why it is called as buston's formula and here you can see this formula where q is the quantity of water in liter per minute and p is the population of town in thousands so these are the four generally used formula for the computation of water in case of fire so if you like this video you can hit that like button you can subscribe our channel let's grow for more informative videos happy learnings with let's grow